Welcome, everyone, to Friday Night Young at Heart. I'm back, and I'm ready, willing, and able to offer you nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lewis Carroll, limericks, larks, the stories of the great operas, and such, to keep us all young at heart. Tonight, take a nice deep breath, for I am returning to some nursery rhymes, one that's a little unfamiliar to me, perhaps unfamiliar to you as well. It's called Good Manners, but of course you are familiar with Good Manners, the title, not the poem. I should hope. I should hope. So here we go. Manners in the dining room. Manners in the hall. If you don't behave yourself, you shan't have none at all. Of a little, take a little. You're kindly welcome to. Of a little, leave a little. Tis manners so to do. Speak when you're spoken to, come on one call, shut the door after you, turn to the wall. Willful waste brings woeful want, and you may live to say, How I wish I had that little crust. At once I threw away hearts like doors will ope with ease to very, very little keys. And don't forget that two of these are I thank you and you're welcome. Charming, isn't it? Here's another little variation on good manners. Come when you're called, do as you're bid. Shut the door after you, never be chid. Should be bide and chide, but it's bid and chid. Let's see how it reads the other way. Come when you're called, do as you're bide. Shut the door after you, never be chide. Hold up your head, turn out your toes, speak when you're spoken to, mend your clothes. Punctuality. First in a carriage, second in a gig, third on a donkey, and fourth on a pig. Be always in time. Too late is a crime. Grace. God bless our meat. God bless our ways. God give us grace, O Lord, to please. Lord, long preserve in peace and health our gracious queen. Elizabeth. This grace was repeated in the times of the first Queen Elizabeth. Do you know which one? You'll have to look it up. <laughs> All right. Here's a few more. Worldly wise. Of all the sayings in this world, the one to see you through is never trouble, trouble, till trouble troubles you. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. If turnips were watches, I would wear one on my side. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, 
the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. Penny and penny, laid up will be many. Who will not save a penny shall never have many. For every evil under the sun, there is a remedy, or there is none. If there be one, try and find it. If there be none, never mind it. Scissors and string, scissors and string. When a man's single, he lives like a king. Needles and pins, needles and pins. When a man marries, his trouble begins. Is that true? Speak up. You married people, you? <laughs> a wise old owl sat in an oak. The more he heard, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why aren't we all like that wise old bird? To make your candles last for I, you wives and maids give ear o. Oh. To put him out the only way, says honest John Boldero. Hmm. When land is gone and money spent, the learning is most excellent. And there we have it. So you had some worldly wise poems and learned all about good manners. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had some fun as I had fun sharing them with you. Tune in again on Tuesday for Luke Live Online, another pericope from Chapter 8. And next Friday, a week from now, for Friday Night, Young at Heart. I'm thinking of some segments from Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. It's quite a little epic, it's a lot of pages. We could do it in sections. I'm thinking of it because I saw this beautiful movie called uh, The Green Knight, which takes this epic and kind of turns it inside out and on its ear, uh, kind of asks the question, what price glory? And uh, that chivalry that's so um, upheld uh, from the Middle Ages, is, was it really worth it? That's the movie. It does it beautifully, though, in a kind of dreamlike way. It's very contemporary. Like, do we really have to have all this violence? However, this um, is the as a beautiful translation of the medieval uh, the medieval text, which uh, invites us to enjoy the art of chivalry and bravery and truth. So let me know. If you want a series on the Green Knight or something else. Thank you for joining me. God bless you all. Have a great night. Bye.